Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Well Eyes Therapy and Steel Hub Management. Mr. Jazza Dickens, it's been a long time, my friend. How are you? Gone over in the world with that mic, haven't you? Listen, this world, this this mic has been everywhere. Remember the old days when you never had one, and now you have. Uh, it's all down to Jazza TV. Jazza TV, yeah. Blagger TV. Blagger, yeah. You can't mark here, lad. Now listen. Uh, we're at Bowlers Friday night, uh, Saturday night, sorry, even, and uh, a big fight for your lad, John Edo, tonight. Yeah, it's a good venue for you, Philip. Shout out to the um, Black Flash Promotions. Uh, John's done a lot of tickets once again, and he's got his first title opportunity for the, the Central Area title, which we, the people in boxing will know that's a, the, it's a real title. You can have all these intercontinental and, well, what do you call them? I've had loads of them. Um, I've got a, a wardrobe full of them, but this is a real belt, the Central Area title. Fighters from the past will know how much of a achievement this can be if you can get this Central Area title open source to big and better things. And this Central Area title, he's worked very, very hard to get into this position. I know that he had perhaps an injury and there was a fight that didn't happen, but he's looking good and he's really looking forward to this, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's done it the hard way, and he really has no way. Uh, you know, I'm grateful for, for the people who've had him on, uh, put him on, on shows, and but he's had to work himself up the hard way. No, no TV deal, no no um, big sponsorships and nothing like that he's done it the hard way and he, um, he's got a real job you know what I mean he's got a real job with boxing on the side which any fighter knows that's a hard hard life to live and he's got a family and all that so he's done it the hard way and he's he's come a long way you know for the first, first title tonight and um, hopefully he gets his hands on that title and um, we go on to bigger and better things Listen, you know, it's going to be a tough fight Lewis Woods are also a very good fighter um, two styles that are very well matched I think Yeah, yeah, well it, it was one of them you'd like to build John a little bit more when Pat phoned me to make the make the fight with John, it was like we wanted more rounds. We wanted to get him a six rounds. Only being four rounds, we wanted to get him a six and eight, a few six, a few eights, and, and then go in ten, ten rounds. But Lewis Woods is in the same boat as John, so it's something like either either fighter can come back from that, and he can still continue to work himself back up. You know what I mean? But um, it was something that we couldn't turn down. It was something that he couldn't turn down. And um, Pat's three hundred, Pat Pat is three years there or three. 300 show anniversary is it? It's the 10th anniversary, 10 years. <laughs> yeah, so Pat's had 9 million. He's not 300 years old yet. The 9th million show anniversary and um, so he wanted to make it a special occasion. He got a Commonwealth Silver title on here tonight in the Central Area, uh, Central Area title. So, yeah, he wanted to make it a big fight and he uh, put that belt on the line for John and Lewis. Well, it's a testament to Pat, 10 years of helping boxers. He's never changed his vision. He's always given the boxers like Edo and those guys an opportunity. And you have to take your hat off to Pat, don't you? Not half. I've been on one of the shows in here. It was after after um, my first fight for the world title to build myself back up again. Uh, so I just know what these sh fights, these shows and these fights um, do for fighters. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a massive platform for somebody who hasn't got a TV deal. You know what I mean? He starts his own lads on here, Lindsay Arthur, who's now fighting Bibble. Um, his nephew, Zelfa, Zelfa. He, he's a good fighter too, now sign up match room and he's, um, Pat deserves more credit than he gets because he also deserves a television deal, you know, it would be nice to see him one day, I think surely one day he keeps sticking to what he's doing now and um, he will get a television deal because he's integral, you know, not, not many promoters in this game are. Well listen, it's good to see your guy out and doing well and uh, we wish him the best of luck. What about yourself? Obviously, you had the the fight over in uh, Dubai. Yeah. Didn't go your way this time. Um, not sure how that happened, but you know, you put a good display up until that point. Have you got a rematch? Are you going to get yourself back in there? Yeah, we have a re rematch closed with him. Um, just waiting now for the um, television date, the television promotional company to pick the fights up. The IBO World Title rematch, um, and, and, it, and it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You know what I mean? And, I'll be back here, I've done it four times before, I know they're all back and um, I will do, I'll, I'll make myself um, I'll be a world champion two times and um, go on to the unify. Well I hope you do and I hope that uh, it all works well for you. Are you still training out in uh, Dublin? Because we've heard a little rumour that someone nicked your van. Yeah, well I left my van in Dublin and I uh, came back to get it. I was going to the Conlon fight uh, last week, was it last week or ten, ten days, two weeks ago, something like that. I went to get my van, it turned up and it was gone so... I had to phone the council, the council said he never had it. I had to put a statement in to say my van's gone missing. <laughs> felt, like a <laughs> felt like a grass putting a statement in, you know what I mean? But I was thinking, someone gets this in a van or something like that, a little girl or something like that, run over and someone's got me van. I'm not taking response, it's not on my head, so um, he phoned me back. He phoned me back and he said, um, we've got your van now. So I'm going at five o'clock in the morning tonight to go, to go and get my van. Yeah, I spend the weekend in Dublin. Are you away in your life? 
Yeah, man, good. So, it's one of them, innit? They just get That'll up. teach you to park it where you shouldn't be parking it. Well, no, not actually, because <laughs> what happens is I, I, park, I park the car where I normally park it, and when I came back, there was fucking road marks and then a sign saying zombie parking here, so can't park there, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I've heard that before. Listen, we wish you all the best. I really can't wait to see uh, the rematch for yourself. And uh, Edo's fight tonight is going to be a stormer. Wish all the boxers well. We hope they come out with, uh, you know, dignity and uh, the right man wins the fight. So best of luck, Jazza, and uh, be safe. Have a happy Christmas, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Nice one, and uh, thank you to all the people who come out to support John, the sponsors, Pat for having them on the show, and everybody who's uh, played the part. Thank you. Well said. I'm surprised you haven't plugged your, your sponsors, Monchinex, as well. Well, you have, haven't you? Can you see it? We got that in. I'm a little bit small. I like you see it. Oh, it's got me out as well. Can you see that? Yeah. Sounds. Right on that note. Go and enjoy the evening and good luck, mate.